is the Old Testament? And is the Old Testament important in our day? The Old Testament is the infallible, inspired word of God, breathed to the fathers of the faith, the prophets, that also reveals the history of our forefathers, the people of God. The oldest book in the Old Testament is the book of Job, written around 1660 BC, and the newest book in the Old Testament is Malachi, written in the year 400 BC. The Old Testament reveals Jesus and articulates our triune, triune God's plan of salvation for his people. And so we see both the Old and the New Testaments. Our Lord's word given to us as a sign and a seal of the promises for us. So the tremendous amount of blood, the sheer number of sacrificed animals in the Old Testament points forward to the shedding of the blood of Jesus on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. But is the, Old, is the Old Testament important in our day? The short answer, of course, is yes, simply because it unveils who God is. God is Yahweh, the angel of the Lord, God's right hand, just to name a few of the names that are given to our Lord in the Old Testament. But the Old Testament also makes clear that God was with his people from the fall into sin through exoduses and captivities to lament and to mourn with his people to provide comfort and protection. But the Old Testament is also important because God puts down his word in writing for our benefit so that we can see that what he's done for his people of old is what he's still doing for us today. The Old Testament, of course, is older than the New Testament and contains the same law that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But the Old Testament also reveals the same gospel that sinners are saved alone by grace in Jesus, the Messiah who was, is, and is to come for us. And so Jesus affirms this most clearly in Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verses 25 through 27, when he says, O foolish ones and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should, should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And so the Old Testament's main purpose is for us to see Jesus revealed to us. We see this in Genesis chapter 3, Isaiah 7, Isaiah 9, Daniel 9, and Micah 5, just to name a few. You can speak to your pastor about the revelation of Jesus in many other places in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, God gives us a picture of Christ's work for us. In the midst of types and shadows, in the midst of bulls and goats and all the blood, the Old Testament points us to, us, points us to the reality of the blood of Christ shed for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus is the one who fulfills the Old Testament. He gives us the New Testament in his blood that we drink in his Holy Supper.